Oh, he hit the knee up! <laughs> Whoa, before we get into the video, I uploaded my first highlight reaction slash breakdown video over on the More Flimlo channel. The card for that's gonna pop up at the end and it's also in the description. So after you finish checking this out, be sure to go over there and check out that highlight vid and don't forget to subscribe to the More Flimlo channel for the highlight reactions. So yesterday I tweeted out what had to seem like most random tweet ever, okay? Here's what I tweeted. Even though they're both 99 speed on NCAA, I feel like TD is faster than AD. And even though they're both, they both have 99 strength, I feel like AD is stronger. Do you agree? Obviously it's shortened because it's Twitter. And we sparked a little conversation, man. And first I wanna thank everybody who participated in this little discussion that we had. We got some likes, people saw it. And real quick, it's on the screen. So thank my boy, Zach Keith, man, for copping the TD shirt, bro. I definitely appreciate that. And everybody else who has copped the shirt. But I asked this seemingly random question because of course, like a lot of stuff that we do around here, it's not random at all. I was kind of wondering how I was gonna do this whole TD versus AD thing. I've been wanting to do this for a while, but just waiting on the right time. And with AD's college career quickly coming to an end, and me playing through TD's last year, and that's not gonna last forever, it's just one season. I figured this was a pretty good time before Dre Moss kind of becomes more of the main character on the channel because he'll still be on NCAA and I know I have mostly an NCAA audience so whichever character is on NCAA is probably going to be the favorite character. That's generally how it goes. Anyway, I decided to create both players on the normal roster so that we can do this 99 yard challenge. So I took each of their best years. TD's best college year was his year as a junior. As a junior, if you didn't follow the story, TD cut his dreads, he didn't have dreads that season. He grew them back once he went to the league. We took AD from his senior year because he got 99 speed his senior year. So he was at his fastest. Now I went into both of their careers. I got their exact heights, their face, everything about them, recreated it. However, I did end up slightly adjusting their attributes. And that was the reason for the tweet because I figured that would make it a lot more interesting if we got really what the players are instead of what the game kind of says they are. So I created both of these guys at their normal position. I created AD at quarterback, he's a 99 overall, beast mode guy, and then I moved them to running back. I did the same thing with TD, created them at cornerback, then I moved them to running back. So their overalls at running back is based on the attributes that they had at their normal position. Now. Here we go. Both of these guys are 99 speed, but like I said, I've always felt like they were a little bit different. So I created them here as I see them. And let me explain to y'all what I see. To me, AD's top end speed is about a 95. Like I don't think he has the same top end speed as TD. The reason I say this is because TD gets breakaway touchdowns all the time on NCAA and on Madden and AD we get hogged down a lot, but but AD is clearly stronger than TD. I mean, you can just look at the size, bro. AD is 5'10", and he weighs more than TD, who's 6'2", and that's all muscle, man. AD is super, super solid, so he's got more strength. Now, AD's agility and his acceleration, in my opinion, are 99. I feel like AD gets to his top speed quickly, but I just don't think his top speed is that fast. I mean, it's fast, but it's just not on TD's level. Now, real quick, TD was only an 89 at running back. TD is faster. 99 speed, 99 jelly, 99 excel is the same on both of them. Now, here's where it starts to differ again. TD's break tackle is only a 73. His trucking is only a 73. His elusiveness is a 91. He has no stiff arm to be heard of. His spin move is pretty good and his juke is pretty good. AD's break tackle is an 88. His trucking is a 90. His elusiveness is a 98. His spins a 93 and his juke's a 98. AD got way more wiggle than TD does. His stop and go is crazy. Like eight, some of AD's highlights are so ridiculous because his juke is so nasty. Like his opening, that opening highlight for the AD series, in my opinion, TD could never do that, bro. <laughs> so let me cut to the chase. Once you move these guys to running back, you have a straight up speedster in TD who has okay elusiveness. AD is actually more of a balanced back. He's a better running back, which is why he's got a higher overall and which is why he used to play running back. He's more powerful. He's better at running in between the tackles, of course, and he's better at getting out of bad situations using his elusiveness. 
Whereas TD is better at getting out of bad situations using strictly speed. So today, finally, we're gonna put these dudes up against each other and see who can run a 99 yard touchdown first. Now, if y'all like this video, bro, click the thumbs up button, man. Let's shoot for 1,000 likes. If we hit that, we'll get another version of this. Maybe we'll try another position, kick return, power return, something like that. I don't know, we'll see. But 1,000 likes and we'll get some. I don't know, I'm excited. This is, ha ha, this is fun. Just to sweeten the deal. When AD is trying to do this, TD is gonna be on defense. And when TD is trying to do this, AD is gonna be on defense. Oregon has a better offense than TCU, but TCU's defense is better. I got both players at the number one corner on the opposite team are gonna be running to their side. Now the way we do 99 yard challenges on this channel is we do it by the time. So it's very simple. We come to the playbook, we call this counter play with one receiver on that side. And then you come in, random play, that should put bam, TD over there, AD running that way. And we're gonna start the clock, man. Go. All right, here we go. Oh my God. All right, we get out the backfield this time. <laughs> oh, see what I'm saying? That's what AD does, but this is what he also does, bro. He get caught, man. Oh, he hit TD up. Oh, he hit TD up. <laughs> Oh, did he got him? Ah, bro, I felt like AD should have had it early on, bro. I swear this stuff don't be feeling random though, dog. Cause it's like, oh, okay, there you go. Let's go, AD. <laughs> that boy is such a beast, man. I'm running straight as I stop. All right, man. One twenty nine unofficial time we'll check the official once we actually do it y'all see it on your screen right now let's take a look at the replay <laughs> oh, i love it bro i fucking love it man Flip teams. All right, man, we're gonna set it up the other way. On the same type of counter, there it is. And here we go, we got AD over there at corner, TD in the backfield, and TD 129 though, dog. I don't know, man. That was a good time. All right, and go. Let's go, TD. Ah! As I know, oh, let's go, TD! Yo, get that block, bro. Ah! See, TD ain't as wiggly, man. Ah! If TD ever get outside, he's gone. But that. Uh oh. Uh oh! <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's go, TD! Just straight up speed. BOM! Alright, man. So, TD is up taking it, bro. An unofficial time of 53. And you saw the difference pretty quick. AD needed everything that kind of set up. He actually hit somebody up. And in my opinion, AD had the much more impressive looking run. Like it was way more exciting. It was a better highlight. I feel like if AD had the same breakaway speed as TD does, he would have beat TD's time because he had two big runs early on. But he always seems to get caught, man. TD gets in front, he peels off from everybody, and it's a wrap. Anyway, man, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. It was very fun to do. If y'all did, give me thumbs up on this thing. Remember, we shoot for a thousand thumbs up. If we get that, man, maybe we'll bring this back in some other type of capacity. Y'all give me ideas in the comment section if there's something else y'all wanna see. Other than that, I'ma holler at you next time. Flim Low Raps.